Welcome back to the channel, bringing you the latest news from around the world. Why are there not more people talking about the sudden awakening beneath Yellowstone and Mount St. Helens? The ground shuddered, subtle, but enough to catch the attention of scientists everywhere. A magnitude 4.1 earthquake rattled Mount St. Helens, but the real story was unfolding beneath Yellowstone National Park. Here, the earth was swelling, as if a giant was shifting in its sleep. This isn't a disaster movie, this is real geology happening now. On July 9, 2025, the world's eyes turned to two of North America's most famous volcanoes. Mount St. Helens tremor was a wake-up call, but Yellowstone's supervolcano is the true giant. Yellowstone's beauty hides a beast, a supervolcano with the power to reshape continents. Quietly, USGS instruments across the park began to detect something unusual. The ground was rising, a subtle but undeniable sign that the magma chamber below was stirring. For geologists, this is a moment of intense focus, gathering data, checking models, and communicating with the public. The timing of these events is a reminder that the American West is a dynamic, ever-changing landscape. We are visitors on a planet that is always in motion. Moments like these offer a rare glimpse into the powerful processes shaping our world. Yellowstone's pulse had quickened, and the world was watching. The connection between these distant events may be indirect, but their story is deeply intertwined. The stage was set for a new chapter in the ongoing story of Earth's restless giants. The Norris Geyser Basin is Yellowstone's most restless spot, and now, it's bulging upward. USGS data shows the ground rising nearly 2 inches per month, an astonishing rate in geological terms. This rapid uplift signals pressure building deep within the volcano's plumbing. Yellowstone's caldera has always breathed, but this is faster than usual. GPS and satellite radar confirm the swelling is centered on Norris, a weak point at the intersection of major faults. Think of it as feeling a giant's chest rise and fall, normal, until the breathing quickens. This isn't a sign of imminent eruption, but it's a fundamental change that has scientists on high alert. The system is being re-energized, and every new measurement matters. The Norris bulge is now under the world's microscope. Scientists are watching for what comes next. Yellowstone's deep breath is a warning and a mystery. The world waits to see if the giant will settle or stir further. The Mount St. Helens quake raised a big question. Did it trigger Yellowstone's activity? The answer, not directly. These volcanoes are distant cousins, not connected by magma. But large earthquakes can send seismic waves across vast distances, sometimes agitating other volcanic systems. It's like tapping a can of soda, the pressure is already there, but a jolt can make it fizz. This is called dynamic triggering. A distant quake can nudge a system already on edge. Yellowstone was already showing signs of unrest. The Mount St. Helens tremor may have simply accelerated the process. The timing is too close to ignore, offering scientists a rare chance to study how distant geological events interact. The western U.S. is a geologically active canvas where one event can echo in another. Mount St. Helens didn't cause Yellowstone's uplift but it may have been a catalyst. Scientists are now watching both volcanoes more closely than ever. The tremor was a reminder. These systems are part of a larger, interconnected network. The story is not about cause and effect, but about the complex dance of Earth's forces. The next moves are anyone's guess. Yellowstone is a supervolcano, one of Earth's most powerful and closely watched. Its last massive eruption over 630,000 years ago shaped the continent. The potential for another event, however unlikely, makes every tremor important. The Yellowstone Volcano Observatory uses a web of sensors, seismometers, GPS, gas detectors and satellites to monitor every shift. The current uplift at Norris is a physical sign that the magma chamber is active, not dormant. Each new episode of Uplift or Earthquake Swarm adds to our understanding of this complex system. This isn't just academic, it's vital for public safety and hazard planning. Scientists use this data to refine models and forecast future activity. While a super eruption is extremely unlikely, smaller events are possible, and diligent monitoring is our best defense. Yellowstone's story is one of science, vigilance, and preparation. In times like these, it's crucial to trust the experts. The USGS confirms the accelerated uplift at Norris, but stresses that activity remains within historical norms. The volcano alert level is normal, the aviation color code is green, 
Yellowstone has seen faster uplift before, and these cycles are part of its natural rhythm. The current event is notable but not unprecedented. A super eruption would be preceded by unmistakable warning signs, intense earthquake swarms, dramatic ground deformation and major gas emissions. None of these are happening now. The seismicity and gas levels remain at background levels. The official message? This is a fascinating geological event, not a prelude to disaster. The key is to separate scientific drama from unfounded fear. The experts are watching and so should we, calmly. What's the takeaway? Stay informed, not alarmed. Yellowstone's uplift, following the Mount St. Helens tremor, is a reminder of our planet's restless nature. Scientists are watching trends, ground movement, seismicity, gas emissions, ready to alert the public if anything changes. Yellowstone has been in a state of unrest for centuries, this is part of its story. The park's beauty is born from the heat and power below. The current activity is a chance to learn, not a reason to panic. Technology and dedicated scientists keep us safe and informed. There's no need to cancel plans or fear an imminent eruption. This is a live lesson in geology, a chance to connect with the living earth. The giant stirs and we watch, listen and learn.